So, dritte Aufnahmesession. Haben wir noch irgendwie auf dem Weg noch was zu tun? Trainings habe ich abgeschlossen. Außer Vegeta. Vegeta könnte noch irgendwas lernen. Das kann ich im super Angriffsfähigkeitsbaum sehen. Und das sieht nicht so aus. Gut, dann können wir direkt zum nächsten Story-Abschnitt hüpfen. Kann mich direkt verprügeln lassen. Leider am Anfang muss man sich einmal wieder einstellen. Ach, der denkt sich schon. Komm rein. Knister Alpha Team, hört ihr mich? Ein Riesenfisch zu euch. Herein. Verdammt, keine Antwort. Das heißt wohl, es ist egal, was wir sagen. Gib uns mehr Geld, wir bekommen zu wenig für diese Arbeit. Ein Riesenfisch? Tja, keine Zeit für alt andere Sachen. Dann gehen wir hier lang. You've got some real guts, you know that? The captain's gonna make you pay for what you did. Really? So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd! Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool! Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? Saints don't have that much power? Promising. This will be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. All right, let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Und tschüss. Vegeta! <lacht> Here I go! Und ab die Post. Unbelievable! 
shit to aid. Die geben mir beide ordentlich auf die Eier. Hier ist noch das kleinere Übel. Ich schieße ja andere Welt. <lacht> Super Finisher. Vegeta said something about that too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. S S Super Saiyan? You mean, you mean the legendary warrior? No! This cannot be! Is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior, one that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace, take my scouter. What are you doing? <laughs> that body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! Körpertausch! Hieß das in der Serie.
alle Kämpfe nur mittelmäßig. What? What's going on? What? What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain, here's your scanner. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. He seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, Dinde. Unhurry. Those Earthlings need you. Okay, I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I'll let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, Understood my, my lord. lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you at my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Ah, oh gut, den Kampf muss ich nicht machen. Where are the Dragon Balls? 
They're either hidden somewhere or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! Looks like all seven of them are together in one spot! Right, now's our chance! I hope my dad's all right. Of course he's all right. He's Goku. Plus, Vegeta's with him. Yeah, that's true. Still, I wonder what sort of training Goku had to go through to get so strong. The radar's showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So, they actually buried them in the ground. Huh, we've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga do, 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 do. Well, here goes. Right. Come forth, Shinron, and grant our wishes! <laughs> Nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... Where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it. What the hell are those two doing? Quillen, someone's coming this way. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the? Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls. How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it! Wait, what did you say? <sighs> Hmm? And you're? Krillin! Go on! That's not me! <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far! <laughs> That's correct! I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu! <laughs> That's... my dad? He swapped bodies. All oh, this really complicates things. Go on. Krillin, I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I... can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah. 
you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool! The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! So, Kaioken fails. Let me join in the fight, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? W Vegeta! W when did you. I think it's finally time to test this new body of mine out. Yeah! Solar flare! No way! This will be full power as long as my dad's mind is separated from his body. Trust Oh, it's hot. Haben sie alle drei hitten lassen. No! This can't be happening! Chase couldn't have been defeated so easily! You're next! Looks like I'm back to being me again. What, 
What the hell just happened? What was that just now? That feels like my dad, all right. My dad, he's back in his own body. Damn it. This time, this time I'm taking Vegeta's body. Uh oh, if he switches places with Vegeta, we're all done for. Not good. Now, your body is mine, Vegeta! P perfect! Change! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I bet. just happened yes I did it I turned him into a frog <laughs> tell me how to use the dragon balls tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. D Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He... he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? The, the little worm from before. Curse you! You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? Not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No! All five of them couldn't have. They couldn't have all been defeated. No. Something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls! No! The almighty Freezer will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! Es sind Affen, bitte schön. This medical machine here. It should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Whoa, this is crazy! It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. Let's hope we don't run into <gasps> <a> Nebenquest. <fight. gasps> 
Dafür muss Zeit sein, wo wir eigentlich keine Zeit haben. Aber was soll das für eine Nebenquest sein? Wie er die Außerirdischen? Ah ne, das ist einer von der Ginyu Force. Mann, sie müssen doch irgendwo sein. Die Freezer-Armee. Verdammt, sie haben mich gefunden. Wir müssen ihn erledigen. Du hast einen geheimnisvollen Freezer-Armeesoldaten entdeckt. Schalt ihn aus, bevor er irgendwas Schlimmes anrichtet. Freezer-Soldaten, ja, nicht Ginyu-Soldaten. Okay. Das kann ja nicht alles gewesen sein. Nein, aua. Hä? Der Typ ist ein Schwächling. Ich gebe auf, ihr gewinnt. Lass mich nur in Ruhe. Aber? Aber was? Wollte jemand treten, der im Boden liegt? Nein, sowas machen wir nicht. Dann lass mich in Ruhe, ja? Ha, wow. Ihr habt tatsächlich auf mich gehört. Moment, ihr gehört gar nicht zur Freeze Armee, oder? Ich erkenne euch nicht. Ach so, das dachtest du wahrscheinlich wegen diesen Uniformen. Hey, wollt ihr mich etwa reinlegen? Ich dachte, ihr wolltet mich zurück zur Basis bringen. Ach, er ist desertiert. Na, solange er mich nicht nochmal verprügelt. Warum entschuldigen wir uns eigentlich bei ihm? Was macht ein Soldat der Freezer Armee hier draußen? Und warum machen andere Soldaten dir Angst? Wie ich schon sagte, ich dachte, ihr wollt mich zurück zur Basis bringen. Ich bin ein prominenter Koch in der, bei der Armee. Ihr habt doch sicher von mir gehört, oder? Ich bin der berühmte Koch Melone. <lacht> Natürlich nicht. Ich muss wohl noch an meiner Berühmtheit arbeiten. Aber du bist ein guter Typ für mein Community-Brett. Aber ich habe mich der Armee nur angeschlossen, um diesen Planeten zu gelangen. Auf Namek habe ich nämlich Zugang zu besonderem Obst, das es ausschließlich hier gibt. Ich wollte es unbedingt haben, also habe ich mich von der Armee entfernt, um danach zu suchen. Ja. So ein... Wundervoller Unsinn. Let's see. Wir werden ihm natürlich helfen. Also ich suche Ekelmelonen, Ayissa Orangen und Rollo Nüsse. Wo finden wir das Obst? Aber laut dem Computer befinden sich die Melonen in felsigen Gegenden. Und die Orangen, ziemlich skurril, wachsen die offenbar an den Wurzeln von Bäumen. Abgefahren, oder? Und die Rollo Nüsse? Richtig, Rollenüsse wachsen auf Bäumen im Hochland. Um zu reifen, fallen sie runter und rollen weg. Also findet ihr sie wahrscheinlich weiter weg von den Bäumen. Also, aber keine Ahnung, wo genau. Hm, sie könnten sogar bis ins Meer rollen. Ein Traum. Das ist wichtiger als den Spruch für Shenlong holen. Beziehungsweise er heißt ja anders.
Juhu. Sie ist ganz schleim äh, schleimig. Da ist das ja schnell erledigt. Guten Abend, Xenom. Wer braucht schon Felsen? Hi! <lacht> Look at that! Ekemelone, ein Biss in das saftige Fruchtfleisch und ihr köstlicher Saft schickt die Geschmacksnerven auf eine Reise in eine andere Welt. Für die meisten Leute ist es nur eine leckere Frucht, aber eine bestimmte Spezies wird beim Essen in eine Art Rausch versetzt. Wow. Das wusste yeah. ich nicht. Eine Yissa orange ihr überwältigendes süßes Aroma wird von frischem Orangenduft ergänzt. Natürlich schmeckt sie noch besser und ihre weiche Haut ist auch köstlich. Außerdem löst sie eine besondere Reaktion im Körper aus, die die Kraft des Essens vorübergehend um ein Vielfaches erhöht. Aber genau wie bei der Ekemelone gibt es diese Wirkung nur bei einer bestimmten Spezies. Er redet wahrscheinlich von sich selbst. <lacht> ich meine meine Spezies. Ich habe, mich, ich habe nicht übertrieben, als ich die Auswirkungen der Früchte auf den Körper beschrieben habe. Na toll. Für euch gibt es den ultimativen Fruchtsaft. Was? Dank meiner neuen Kraft bin ich jetzt stark genug, um diese Rollonuss zu knacken. Ja genau, ich brauche die Ekemelone und die Ahiesa Orange, um die Rollonuss zu knacken. Aber die Melone wird den Saft mit ihren reichen Aroma ergänzen. Und der Duft der Orange wird das Getränk abrunden. Buhahaha. Ich dachte jetzt, Ivy wird kämpfen gegen uns. Um. Alles in Ordnung? Yeah. Mein Körper war wohl besonders anfällig für die Wirkung der Frucht. Jedenfalls ist der Saft jetzt fertig. Hier, nehmt ihn als Dankeschön für eure Hilfe. Thank you so much. Ich glaube, ich lege eine kleine Pause ein. Hoffentlich kann ich mit diesen Zutaten noch etwas anderes leckeres Kredenz kredenzen. <lacht> Dieser Typ steht wirklich ja. auf Essen. Ich dachte erst, er würde gegen uns kämpfen. Ich hatte auch schon angefangen, meine Ski aufzuladen. Es wirkte echt so, als würde er etwas im Schilde führen. Ja, und sein Lachen klang echt böse. Was starrt er mich so an? Lass das. Ich weiß, dass ich ein berühmter Koch bin, aber ich werde ja ganz rot. Ein Traum. 23.000 EP. 